Hi, I'm Lloyd Cooper, otherwise known as the Yorkshire Gripper, um, fellow Scramble brand athlete and head coach at Factory BJJ out of Manshead. So, I'm showing some um, variations of um, inside heel hook setups. So, something I've been watching recently, um, an Australian black belt called Lachlan Giles, I've playing this um, idea of the false reap. So, we've been playing it for, a lot of people are playing like the half um, butterfly, okay? So the typical setup for half butterfly, a lot of people are going inside, lifting and getting the saddle here. Now it seems like it's getting a little bit saturated. A lot of guys are starting to back away from it. So as we're here, as I'm playing this, the getting this this body, uh, this knee very far away, it's really difficult to start doing the elevation. So what I want to do is start to focus on this leg, okay? What I can do, I'm going to put my elbow behind me, okay? I'm going to start playing here. Once I'm pulling his head down and bringing me in, and I'm into sufficient range, I can start to drop my elbow underneath and I'm going to shoot an underhook, go super tight into his body like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to ro uh, roll back to the mat and I'm going to have a little lift with my left leg. And as I do that, I'm going to drop my right hand in towards his knee. Goes like this. Lift, grip, gripping underneath. And what I'm going to do is pull his knee forward. So you see, uh, put your knee back. What I want is his knee to be over the top. So lift and pull here. Once I'm in this, in this position, my left arm that was under hooking comes down, goes around the back of his knee like this. Now we're into establishing the false reap. I pull tight and I get my gable grip. I start to extend my leg here. Now, shuffle back a bit. As we're in this position, okay, what I'm gonna start to do is I'm gonna drop my right shoulder to the mat here. Typically your opponents are trying to pressure you at a lot of this uh, moment. So, if you look underneath, my right leg then becomes very important. This right leg, I'm gonna stuff my toes into the mat underneath it, right underneath his base. So my left leg is tucking underneath, my right toes stick heavy. Then I'm gonna use my right toes to push up onto my neck to generate um, some momentum here. And I extend my left leg straight. Now what I'm gonna do is start to keep my left leg straight as I roll underneath my opponent. As I go over, I open my right leg and I fall into the saddle. Go back, swing here. So the key is, you start in this position as you're rolling, I pull, I'm opening, and I end up into the saddle. Okay? Very key here, you don't get excited and start going for the leg. If I pull both my arms out and go for the heel, he turns his knee and I lose it. Okay, so keep the first grip from the false reap. Okay, this way, if I keep my hand there, Adam tries to turn his knee, he's going through my hand, it's gonna slow him down. My right elbow goes down to the um, toes, biceps over the toes. Now, I can take this arm out and if he tries to turn his knee again, can't do it. Outside arm grips the heel, squeeze my saddle grip, move through the clock outside to put pressure on the inside of the knee. Now, I do my sit up and drag my elbow back into my armpit, here. I've left his um, heel exposed. All I need is an inch to keep it off the mat, then my wrist slides underneath to this position. Gable grip my hands, use my top elbow to wrench. Now, I'm gonna fall inside, squeezing my hips. So what I want to be doing is pushing my hips sideways or perpendicular through his knee. Fall inside, push, make everything tight, then I do a little bit of a rotation. Gone are the days or heel hooks where you're doing this. Doing that, you've missed something. So squeeze inside, so my hips and my legs flat to the floor. Perpendicular pressure, small rotation. One more from the top. So, playing the, the half butterfly is keeping this leg hidden away so I can't seem to get underneath. Get onto the elbow, pull in the head. That way I'm gonna shoot a deep underhook, get close to him, rotate to my back, lift my left leg, and my right arm comes in. Lift, grip, and pull here. So you see how my right hand is stuck inside at this moment? I'm gonna dive my left arm through, behind the knee, and a gable grip. Now, my right leg behind me starts to push as I go to my shoulder. And that leg's straight. I extend my left leg straight as I roll underneath. 
bringing my right leg out, he rotates through, keep my left arm in. Stop, that stops the knee, okay? Again, if I take that out, his knee's gone. Keep that. My right arm slides back to the bicep control. First arm comes out, get the heel, walk through the clock, sit up and elbow drop. But one, get under the heel, two, three gable grip, four, get to the shin, fall inside, five, hip pressure six, and number seven, finish the heel hook. So, using the idea of Lachlan Giles' false reap, but putting it into practice from the half butterfly guard. So, somewhat of a uh, different approach to getting that um, reap position, but actually really, really beneficial. So give it a try, and I'll see you in the next video.